Hi friends, I'm back. So I had a, a really good friend, uh, an actor come over today to my place. Um, he had an audition and so he needed some help with this audition um, simply because he wanted it to look good and he needed a good reader. And I uh, gave him a little bit of coaching uh, as well uh, when we read and, he, I, and not much because he really did a great job. Um, but I was here with him to kind of walk him through things and, and maybe two takes, I think we did. And he was, that was it. He was, it was great. Um, but I try to let actors know that, you know, you know, let him know that, um, this was the first biggest role that he's auditioned for that he got through Actors Access. Got a C-mail for an audition. He was super excited because it's in California and it's a large scale, um, film. So I try to persuade actors to tackle the market here first, where you live, DFW area, Texas. And when I say the local market, I, our local market, because Texas is so big, we have Dallas and Fort Worth and Houston. Um, and, and we've got Waco when we've got Oklahoma, which is two hours away. We've got Shreveport, Louisiana. We've got Louisiana, parts of Louisiana that are so close, two and a half, three hours away. Um, I mean, I'm talking about all these areas here. So we have a lot here. We really do have a lot in our area. So you need to get on these sites and subscribe to certain casting people that can help you. Um, and you can get their subscription to their emails. And, you know, when you subscribe to those, when they do have a casting and they send those out and there's um, up in Oklahoma, there's there's a couple of them up there. There's a lot of them here. There's several in Austin. There's a lot of casting here in Dallas. Get on their emails. Um, you know, there's some in, in Louisiana. They're, they're everywhere. So um, there is a lot. And this is a pretty large area if you consider Oklahoma, Texas, and Louisiana. Okay, so it's, you know, we, we're used to driving. <laughs> Just in Dallas, I can drive from where I live to the other side of Dallas, and it's almost two hours. Um, so, you know, we're used to the drive. So, um, think about that. And we do have a lot here. We have, you know, I know I've heard actors say, well, I only want to do television and film. And, um, you know, there's, it's, it's ebbs. It's up and down. It's tides, you know, up and down. So, we do have some television, and we have some films here. Not a lot of films, uh, but we have some that are here. Um, television actually has gotten better. We're getting more and more. We have, you know, we have Taylor Sheridan um, and his series that are here. We have The Chosen, which is here. Um, we have Jared O'Flaherty and Vindication, which is here. We have Capernaum Studios and Washington's Armor. And really all the productions that come from all over the states to film at Capernaum, we have those here. And there's a lot. We also have a lot of commercial work here. Dallas is known for its commercials. So there is a lot of that here. Um, I've had actors say, well, I, I only want to do television and, and film. I'm not a commercial actor. How do you know you're not a commercial actor? You know that a lot of the bigger stars, a lot of the bigger names started out acting in commercials. And the reason they did that was because it paid their bills. Not only did it pay their bills, it kept them in the industry itself. So they didn't have to work so many off the wall jobs, you know, like waiting tables and flipping burgers. You know, they could, they could book a commercial and make a lot of money and hang on to that for a while and then book another commercial and it just keeps going. Plus you get exposure and you network, you get to meet people. So commercials are a good thing. Just saying, just saying that. Print ads, print, print work is great. If you have to look for that. And sometimes they look for um, everyday people for print ads a lot of times. Um, so think about these things. There's live immersive. There's theater. There's all sorts of things you can do. During during the holidays, There's they're needing actors for all sorts of things. A lot of the big hotels do. So, you know, if you're going to be an actor, be an actor. It doesn't mean you have to be on camera, you know, constantly. Television or film. Um, or even in the big theater. You know, if you're an actor, you're an actor. You do it because you love it. And, you know, when you're not, you know, only 1% of the actors, the big name actors are working full time, all the time and make enough to just do that all the time. Um, you're not going to get rich doing this, but 
you can make a living. You can live off of it if you keep moving forward and you keep working towards that and don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Learn and grow and experience different things in the acting realm. Okay, there's there's so many things you could be doing um, instead of always looking for that one big booked it. I had booked it job, you know, on a television show or a film. But do move up levels. Many of you work as extras or maybe get a feature on that because you think that's all you, we have here, but that's not true. You really have to, to coach and train and really work on honing in your skills. And one way to do that is to work on many different things, not just as an extra. Try your hand at a live immersive, at theater, at commercials. Do these things, okay? Just saying. Um, it will help you and it'll, it'll make you grow and be more well-rounded. So, um, if you're going to be an actor, be an actor, you know, and, and, and I got to say this, if you're a family, if you have a family and you have to work to pay your bills, you can't do this. You can only do it on weekends. It's not, I mean, it's for fun basically. Um, but you're not going to make, you may get some experience, but it's going to take you years and years and years. So I say work your nine to five, raise your family, and then, you know, take workshops and classes, of course, for sure, during that time. But later on down the road, when you have the time and you have the money and you, or you have the support to do this full time, then do it full time. Otherwise, you're just spinning your wheels. So unless you have a flexible income from something that, you know, that you've created, um, that works too. There's, there's that. So you can have some for, sort of flexible income that's coming in. That's your own business to help you, um, afford you the, the ability to be able to work on film. So I'm blah, 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 blah. <laughs> tripping over my tongue. I'm talking way too fast. But anyway, just wanted to say all that to you. And, um, I'm sure I'm missing something and leaving something out, but we'll, we'll, Stay tuned. We'll come back because I'll probably think of it here as soon as I sign off. Peace out. We'll talk soon.